back to the Lighter Side Show. I'm your host, Jamie Butler, the Everyday Medium, and I have Danielle Hall back in house because she never left. I didn't want her to leave because I wanted a how to. <laughs> and Lumineers, what's so much fun about her is that you keep it real, you keep it funny. You were just mentioning that healing didn't have to be hard, it could be fun. It could involve laughter. Before we get into the show, I'd like to announce some housekeeping notes. Anything that you want to know about events, classes, live public channelings, the Luma Summit, where we're going next, please head over to jamiebutlermedium.com. Right there on the website, it has everything listed for you. We'd love to hear your opinions and comments, so please put your fingers to the keyboards and let us know what's going on with you. And Lumineers, as always, if you have a topic that you want us to explore for you, let us know. Today is pretty much a how-to. How to fall in love with sound <laughs> healing, sound baths. We're going to get an example of that. How to handle, play, use sound. Am I hitting all the notes right? I, but um, well, I think you got it. That was it. bad. It was, that was bad. so good. <laughs> <laughs> so, Lumineers, we have Danielle Hall back. You can find her online at soundembrace.com. She's also on Facebook and Instagram at Sound Embrace Health. And on Facebook, every Wednesday, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, you do a live sound bath. What is the best way to experience it? Is it like a headphone thing? Is it a turn all your speakers on kind of a thing? Do you sit up? Do you lay down? What's the best way? For these, usually because it's in the middle of the day, Eastern Time, or maybe you're just getting into work, you know, if you're on the, the West Coast, uh, usually people are sitting up straight. Um, and I say straight uh, because it's what I always say. <laughs> yes, I Straight's am. fine. Um, ready to receive. Uh, headphones are really great, especially if you have the um, stereo headphones that go over your ears. I love those. Earbuds will, are be, will be great as well. Um, but then you can really get the sound um, on this. Yeah. So um, I'm going to guess that you don't want to do the sound bath while you're driving, oh. sending an email to your boss. Uh, cooking in the kitchen. I'm sure there's some. You, know, you can be cooking. Con. You could. You may. You may not really get the full effect of what the intention is for this, which is really to get you into a place of stillness in the middle of your week, so that you can push through the, the rest of your week. Uh, but definitely not driving, please. <laughs> so it's more of a stop, drop, and listen thing rather yeah. than I'm just going to continue my stuff and crank or and turn yeah. It it's actually sound healing music is not the best thing to listen to when you're driving or operating heavy machinery. <laughs> Disclaimer. Um, <laughs> it just gets you so relaxed, um, and it's it changes visuals, your. Though. It's taking you from your your everyday waking state beta into alpha, which is a little bit more relaxed state, into theta, which is your meditative state, and uh, oh my gosh, delta, which is more of your sleeping state. Five minutes probably isn't going to get you all the way to delta. But it will induce that relaxation response. So, and for some of you, it will really throw you into theta. It will throw you into deep meditation trance state if it's hitting the right notes for you at that time, doesn't it? Yeah, if you're if you are able to really surrender to the stillness, um, then the sound can definitely carry you. <laughs> so, what did you bring in studio today? Uh, I, I mean, love I how you're surrounded by everything. So this. This set, everything that's on the blanket right now, including the gong, um, are is my setup for when I'm when I'm going out and doing a sound bath event. Um, it'll be seven quartz crystal bowls, Mr. Wuhan back here, um, some koshi chimes, some shakers, and ting shaws down here, and uh, my little Himalayan bowl. Okay, out of curiosity, your Himalayan bowl, the gong, the tinkshas, do you know what notes they are? Do you know what notes or sounds or tones that all the bowls are? I do know what the bowls are. Um, tinkshas, you probably, if you've been to a, uh, a yoga class, mm -hmm. you may have heard or have some like meditation CDs um, or MP3s. Are there CDs? I don't know. Are there records out there? Is this a CD? <laughs> um, so ting shaws are usually, you usually hear ting shaws at the end of 
of a meditation. Um, we're going to start with them, <laughs> but, um, and they're usually to bring you back from that stillness. There's just enough dissonance in Ting Shaw's that um, kind of awakes the cells for you to wake up out of that th theta and delta state. And you usually hear it as three, three chimes. So you'll probably hear... just enough to call those cells into attention um, and to wake up so that you can get back into your body, feel grounded in your body, and uh, move about your day. <laughs> so that's the intention for Ting Shaw's usually. Or it signifies somewhere in sound healing music a shift in the music um, to prep your body that something's about to happen that doesn't always happen. <laughs> in music, but in the sound healing music, but um, I don't use it as a shift, but I notice that other people do to signify that to the body. It's very, it, all of the instruments are used very intentionally. Well, from the smallest to the largest, then what does the largest one do? <laughs> yeah. Is that not calling you back whatsoever and taking you away? So the gong is an amazing tool for shaking things up in your body. Um, it can be one of those instruments that you kind of, you, when the gong comes in, you can feel really overwhelmed. Whether someone is playing, I usually get my back. So, um, when somebody's playing a gong, um, they're usually coming in and introducing the sound to the body. We're not gonna, mm. <laughs> like you want me to. <laughs> Uh, and then the gong starts to build. emotions out to the surface. Um, sometimes people feel really overwhelmed by the gong because they're not really <laughs> ready to face something. Um, or they're just not sure what is actually coming up or why. So th that's how I, I use it is really to shake it, shake people up out of a, out of, I've already primed your body with the quartz crystal bowls and now I'm going to go into the gong which is going to kind of shake things up um, and bring things to the surface. And then I usually cool you back down, calm you back down with the crystal bowls um, and some ting shaws. I mean, not ting shaws, chimes. Um, I would use, there are a couple different, the Himalayan bowls are actually really accessible. The quartz crystal bowls range anywhere from like 150 bucks, depending on the size, to thousands of dollars. Um, this set is um, actually in 432, which is the earth frequency, while regular music is in 440. Um, and when you're calling out numbers, you're talking about the megahertz? Yes. The frequencies? Yes. So the whole set is attuned towards their earth's vibration? Yes. Well, that's amazing. And we are actually attuned to the earth's vibration. <laughs> And so um, that's why I chose this set. You can get another set or other just individual bowls that are 440. They're a lot less in price. You're still gonna create a really great experience for yourself. Um, for me in choosing 432 is just really to elevate to me that going to the earth frequency really elevates um, the experience and, and vibrating us back to our earth. Um, this is it's partly why you feel so great when you go on vacation, when you go to the beach and you're sticking your feet in the sand or you're barefoot in nature. Mm. You're receiving the earth frequency through the meridians of your feet. So if I can bring that into a city, if I can bring that into a corporate environment for their health and wellness program, um, or in any situation, 
for healing that I, I like to facilitate. Do you go into corporate offices and do sound, do crystal balls? Oh, I said balls. Did I say balls? <laughs> I said balls. You said balls. But you know, it's <laughs> fine. Thanks, Jesse. <laughs> it's all Jesse's fault again. Do you, do you go into corporate environments and do yeah. crystal balls? <laughs> Do you go into corporate environments and do crystal bowls? Yeah, I do um, corporate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yeah. I have no idea. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, sorry. I did it though. You have it, right? I have that. So all you have to do, yeah, being all of the balls and the balls in your floor. <laughs> Esoteric brain would go straight to the crystal ball, and it's not. It's terrible. You really go into corporate environments with the crystal bowls and set up in the offices and do this for them. Yeah, a lot of really innovative companies are have these wellness programs and have wellness coordinators, huh. and their job is to make their employees feel good um, and to to elevate their experience to want to keep working there. Um, God, that would be incredible. I'd be so excited if somebody came down the hall with a big old cart full of me. Like, oh my God, it's <laughs> sound day. It's sound day. No, you know what? So, some, of our, some of my clients are monthly. Some of them are weekly. Some of them are every quarter. And it's they're like, sound lady. Or if it's one of the... <laughs> You're the sound lady. I'm the lady. sound lady. Or one of my practitioners in San Francisco, it's like, it's the same thing. They're so excited and so grateful to have this experience of this really deeply relaxing stress reduction um, experience. Well, would it be easier to do a little show and tell before we talk about it more? Oh, yeah. Let's, let's demo a sound bath. Oh, my gosh. We're going we're gonna to demo a sound bath. <laughs> <laughs> so in a sound bath situation... Do we have to take off our clothes? <laughs> Not for this one. <laughs> Jesse, put it back on. <laughs> so in a sound bath, you are fully clothed. <laughs> and it's only called a sound bath because it feels like the sounds are washing over you. So that's... To be bathed the, in sound. To be bathed in sound. No, yes. I, I love the way it does like, <laughs> give you the visual. <laughs> But uh, I thought it'd be funny. Through humor, Lumineers, come on. <laughs> we learned so much more, so enjoy that. But I think, um, can we pull Colleen on yeah. stage? Let's move these guys over. <clears throat> oh! Colleen's already asleep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Lumineers, we're back. We're in place. We've gotten instructions from Danielle here that um, normally our feet would be to the bowls, mm -hmm. but because our little set is so tiny, we're doing head to head and uh, we are safely in your hands. This is my first time. I'm a little <laughs> nervous. Well, and, and for, the, for the time that we're going to do this, it's not, it's not going to be overwhelming for your system to have your heads close to the bowls like this. Uh, but if it's your first time... Going to a sound bath, I do recommend have your feet to the bowls. Bring a blanket, bring a pillow, bring an eye pillow, whatever it is that you feel comfortable uh, or would make you more comfortable lying down. You're usually lying down on your own yoga mat, so bring your yoga mat. Um, and sometimes the floor is really hard. Sometimes it's a little right, so, cushy. So I can, get a, I can get a pillow and a blanket and everything? Are you ready, Jamie? Uh, is, this, is this okay? Can I be on my side and you know, like this is good? I think you're. I think you're ready. Right. I think you're ready to go. <laughs> so, <laughs> in a sound bath situation, your body your body temperature may change. You could get really cold. You could get really hot. You could go through different waves <laughs> of temperature change. So it's it is always nice to have a blanket on standby in case you're like me who always gets cold when I'm still. <laughs> um, so. You ladies comfortable? Mm hmm. <laughs> Colleen's gone. I'm ready. <laughs> I am ready. So, this is where I would ask you to gently close your eyes. Take a deep breath in through your nose for five counts. 
out of your mouth for five. Again, in through your nose for five. Out of your mouth for five. One more time.
slowly bring your awareness back to your body. Start to notice the connection of your back to the floor and your head on the pillow. Start to notice the sounds within the room versus outside of the room. And any sensations that you're feeling in your body. Right now you're just noticing these sensations. You're not judging them. You're not having a conversation with them. You're just noticing. Take a deep breath in through your nose for five counts. Out of your mouth for five. On the next exhale, make it audible. Breathe in. And when you're ready, you can slowly open your eyes. I can't move. I know you're not really ready. Oh, Nobody ever move. is. I can't move. <laughs> <laughs> so wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes, and bring your knees up so that your feet are flat on the floor. Mm -hmm. I'd usually go into a longer grounding exercise because of our time here. Um, go ahead and wiggle your fingers and bring your, your left hand on your abdomen and your right hand on your chest. Take a deep breath here. An audible exhale. Uh, mm -hmm. Colleen, I really want you to feel the vibration. So on this, on this one, um, what we're gonna do is we'll breathe in for five counts, breathe out for five counts, and then on the second round of exhales, we'll ohm. And I really want you to feel that expansion in your belly and the vibration in your chest when you ohm, okay? So let's first breathe in and out. Breathe in for the ohm. Oh. You feel the vibration? Feel a little bit more in your body? If you can, go ahead and roll over to one side. And now push yourself up to a seat. <laughs> I guess I could have taken you through my whole day of coming, coming back and getting fully grounded. Jamie's going that night. Um, <laughs> usually, you know, you do feel really relaxed after a sound bath. And you really don't want to come out of it. Um, but usually, after we do this little bit of grounding and you stand up on your feet and you feel the weight in your knees and your and your off your feet <laughs> and your legs, um, energy will start to just come out of nowhere. Um, come in. And uh, so energy will come in when you stand up, and um, but then you'll sleep really well at night, tonight. <laughs> later. <laughs> or a little nappy poo later, I don't know. <laughs> so... <laughs> That was intense. Jamie's glowing. Oh, I You're loved glowing. it. Yeah. I loved it. There were certain sounds that immediately brought mm. up emotion, light, sensation. My ear is still vibrating. Mm -hmm. mm. There was at one point I thought I was certain the bowl was going to bust. And I wanted to ask you, like, wait, wait, don't play it anymore. It's going to explode. <laughs> <laughs> it hits a... It, I don't know what you call it. I don't know if there's terms for it. I hear when you play the bowl, it has a note. It has a tone. And then it starts to vibrate in and on itself. Mm -hmm. And then it starts to build, and it creates a solid sound. I don't know how to explain it. Are there terms for That's that, or it's just... pretty nicely put. Um, <laughs> so they're not... You can... You, with this bowl, the C bowl, which is the root chakra... Um, there's not one tone that comes out of these bowls. It is the, the lower and higher octaves of a C. Um, so when you're playing one bowl, that. Mm. Yeah, so the, the harder you push on the bowl, um, the louder the sound 
the lighter you play the bowl, the volume goes lower. Or you can just have it ring out. So I can play it very low. Or add some more pressure and raise the volume. So now when I um, play multiple bowls together, it's like they're having a conversation mm -hmm. and can start to create binaural beats or um, create other harmonies. that create a different type of rub. Um, really? I did bring my other suede mallet. Usually when you see people do the, the quartz crystal bowls, they have a suede mallet. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not a fan of the suede mallets because they're, it's a louder rub. Um, and then the rubber mallets are just s soften it. <laughs> yeah, no, it's bit. really soothing yeah. to hear all of it. I was super surprised at the gong. Cause I can feel it on my skin. Mm. It was like playing um, energy exercises that mm -hmm. sometimes I do with my students. And you can feel if somebody's sending you energy or not, or if they're standing close to you and throwing energy or looks at you. Oh, interesting. And uh -huh. like my toes, my legs, everything started tingling. I was like, oh my God, if she doesn't stop doing that, I've got to get up. I've got to <laughs> get up. I've got to get up. Okay, lay down, Jamie. I'm like, oh, just breathe. And so I finally just started laughing and smiling. I was like, oh, I could Feel it on my skin. I, I was very curious to think about what our neighbors were thinking about what was going on. <laughs> <laughs> but my mind couldn't even go there. But I was like, ah, who knows what they're thinking is going on in this in this room right now? Actually, one really helpful thing in going into a sound bath situation mm. is to hold an intention. Sound amplifies your intention mm. since our thoughts already have those frequencies. So um, Holding an intention that's something that you're wanting resolution on or wanting to cultivate in your life, to manifest or release, I am worthy, I am love, 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 gratitude, 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 are all really, really great things to hold when that mind chatter starts mm -hmm. to come up about what's happened earlier in the day, what's happening later, there's another train, or you know, <laughs> um, or whatever, or is the train gonna come? Um, and, and really focuses in on why you're here doing a sound bath. Mm. Um, you could just come in with a curiosity about, I just want to have an experience. <laughs> and that could be your intention. Let this be whatever it's going to be. Um, but you can also get really specific and, and um, happy, healthy body. Maybe you're not feeling good I was going to say, is that where you can focus in on your anxieties or yeah. health? conflict or mental or emotional imbalance you make that very clear at the beginning mm -hmm. so the sound is going to help that aspect yes sweet <laughs> it's it's um amplifying whatever it is that you're thinking because you're getting into that place of stillness and this sound is <clears throat> sending that vibration sending it. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and these, the quartz crystal bowls, so they're 98.9% quartz crystal sandblasted into a mold. They don't know what the notes are going to be until they're made. They don't even know what tuning system they're going to be in until they're like out there and done. Um, but they're made of the same crystalline structure that's in our bones and in our blood. And that's why we um, resonate so deeply with these instruments. What is your typical time period that you do a sound bath? For? Mm, that's awesome. A sound bath is usually about 30 to 40 minutes. What? Depending on the situation. Do you have a sound bath recorder that people can buy? And is that the yes. same as being live in a sound bath? It can be just as powerful. Um, I think it really depends on what... <laughs> we come back to intention. It really depends on your intention. Mm. You can definitely get a lot out of a sound healing recording. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> period. Period. <laughs> but not while you're driving. No. Oh, mm -hmm. yes. Oh, no. No, 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 no. no, no. Not good Operating idea. heavy machinery. <laughs> and it, it really depends on how the... Is it... Sorry, go ahead. Okay. I get so excited. <laughs> I'm stepping over on this. Please, I want to know more. And depending on how the sound 
bath is is recorded, mm -hmm. you can you may still experience the nuances, the really powerful nuances of the instruments through the recording as you would live. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. But it is really great to be in person because in person you actually get to feel the vibration through your physical body. Well, it's it's crazy. It's like it's not coming out of a, a certain source. It's almost like when the sound starts talking, like you said, mm -hmm. communicating to each other, it bounces. And so it, it has the whole room doing its job for you rather than the speakers mm -hmm. or the surround sound in your wow. home. What we don't really think about is we don't just hear with our ears. We hear with our whole body. Everything. It's vibration. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. We are vibration. Oh, my God. Do you know what your chakra system is doing as these crystal bowls mm. are sounding mm -hmm. off? It's insane. Everything was vibrating. I was trying to pay attention to what note was hitting what. and Everything was just so much alive. I just had to smile and just check out. Well, you get mm -hmm. a color show, too. You I mean, did? A little bit, yeah. Violets, blues, yeah. whites, pinks. Oh, a lot of green. It's All incredible. of the colors correlate with the chakra system. Mm -hmm. um, so if you're seeing the violets and the blues, that's, you know, the upper violet, that's like the third chakra or the mm. crown, depending on how deep that purple is. And then the throat is blue. And, you know, if you're getting those colors, it's showing that usually that means that there is a an alignment that's happening, mm -hmm. a balancing that's happening for that chakra. Um, kind of. Tweaking it, you know. <laughs> nice. Now, is this complementary with um, prescription medications, with um, mm. illegal medications? <laughs> Do um, I call that medication? <laughs> it can elevate your experience. Mm -hmm. um, Gong and bong. Says Jesse from behind the camera, <laughs> safely, <laughs> safely behind the camera. If you didn't hear that, Lumineers, he says the gong and bong. <laughs> yeah, no, I get a lot of questions when people yeah. are talking to me about raising your vibrations, you know, spiritually, energetically. Mm -hmm. They're like, what about ayahuasca? What about mm. marijuana? What about this? What about that? They have all these alternative ways to kind of mind shift. But this is pretty intense. I don't know if I yeah. would ever tell someone, please mix these two together. I think you'll get a great journey. I, I mean, yeah. Being I think it's beautiful healthy on its own. And balanced yeah. was enough. Yeah. <laughs> and that's what I would recommend if that is your first time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if it's your first time having a sound bath experience, <laughs> I would recommend not. I mean, if you're having your prescription medication, that's different. But I, I wouldn't try to elevate the experience because this, this can, okay, so a sound bath scenario or sound healing session can be as surface or as deep as you want it to go. Mm -hmm. And you can have some really trippy experiences of leaving your body. You can astro plane and you know, and then I play the ting shaws and all of a sudden you're sucked back mm -hmm. in. And if you haven't had that type of experience before and you're under the influence of something else, that could be quite jarring. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, it's already quite jarring for your first time experiencing that kind of thing anyway. So can I can I ask a personal question? Have you in your sound bass come across somebody who has had that experience? Have you ever had to walk somebody mm -hmm. back into their body or um, yes. Calm them down, remind them they're safe and human and everything is okay. <laughs> um, I had somebody who came out of the experience and he was like, what the F did you do to me? <laughs> oh, no. And I was like, let's talk about it. <laughs> and I believe it. That was the, yeah. like, he was seriously, I, he didn't know to be afraid. He didn't know if he was afraid or should be afraid or what. Um, and, you know, we talked about his particular experience and, um, and I, I talked him through about what the colors were that he, he had seen and that, um, the, the flash from childhood that he, he got. And I was able to ask him some other questions about, okay, so what's going on with your digestive system? There seems to be something going on with like immunity for you. And that's when he is like, again, baffled and also kind of like mm -hmm. taken back and not sure to be scared <laughs> <laughs> or 
or to like okay but he was like yeah I'm having XYZ happening and uh, I can't believe that you were able to get that from a color or from that particular flash in my in my history mm-hmm. um, and it, and it just it for him this experience brought into culmination or brought a um, a reassurance for him that he is on the right track that he is going through healing he is doing all of the right things for himself and and that was what ended up happening from uh, the message for him mm-hmm. everyone's experience is so completely different and it is completely different every single time you experience a sound bath because you bring something to the table that's new every single time <laughs> you're new every second mm-hmm. energetically mm-hmm. you're holding something I new have, i have a question yeah. how much d- in your opinion, do you feel like the vibrations of those around you during a sound bath play in? I'm just thinking about all the energy mm-hmm. that's moving mm-hmm. while that is happening and how that could affect person to person. That's awesome. I'm so glad yeah. that you brought that up because this is also a place where I see sound healers kind of not take precautions on, I guess. Um, there's a way to prep the room. Um, you know, I do go in usually and I, I put up the Reiki symbols in a space before I even do a sound bath. Mm-hmm. I um, usually set up and ground myself so that I can hold that space for a group. And I'm watching every single person. Um, you know, when, the more you do this, the more you do energy work in general, you start to see things. Mm-hmm. And you start to feel things. <laughs> and you start to hear things. And you start to smell things. <laughs> And, um, good things, right? <laughs> well, it's smelling in the sense of, um, you know, certain smells co- correlate with different, uh, like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. um, Mother Mary or different archangels. Um, or for me, there's a particular scent that I smell when my grandfather comes in the room. And so, um, I just got the chill. Okay. <laughs> um, you know, and different bodily sensations. Um, but one of the fastest ways... Um, so those are, those are the things that I do to prep the space and, and then for myself, or, you know, if somebody is really feeling like the energy is thick, you can go in and you can sage Mm it. Um, I would sage it before and after, not, not during, Mm -hmm. um, just because you can take somebody out of that experience and they can actually feel like they're suffocating when you're saging over them. Um, and so I, that I just choose to opt out on that. Other people do it, cool. Um, but the breathing exercise in the beginning, um, you want to meet people where they're at. Um, so everybody's coming in and they just try to find parking or you know just had this crazy conversation or whatever it is that they're bringing in. Mm-hmm. Um, I usually do an ohm before and after. Mm-hmm. One, because ohm brings every cell in the body to attention. And just for people to start to experience their own vibration and the power of their own voice, mm-hmm. such a really powerful sound healing tool. And this is something we all have. <laughs> uh, so there's that. So I, and I do the very specific breathing exercise of five counts in through the nose, five counts out of the mouth three times because that ignites the frontal cortex of the brain, which then speaks to the amygdala. And the amygdala is where we hold all of our emotions. Um, and my goal, anyway, is to help you see what you're holding. Um, not, it's, it's like going to a yoga class um, and um, where, you know, the whole premise, like yoga, is to find that stillness within and to find compassion for yourself it's not necessarily for the physical postures you know it's it's to um you you can at least i come to yoga to find stillness um and whether that's to feel my own vibration find out uh, work excuse me it's a work in not a workout mm-hmm. kind of thing and that's <laughs> what a sound bath is too I'm suddenly realizing how hard it is to be present and continue an interview after doing a sound <laughs> Maybe we should know, stand up. Like, mm-hmm, we should stand up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I have all the thoughts in my head. They're there. <laughs> but my mouth is like, 
You don't need to move right now. And can you imagine that was five minutes for her? Mm. Five minutes. She said 30 to 40 minutes. That's amazing. For a full, yeah. That's amazing. Crazy. <laughs> do you collect people's car keys and be like, well, you have to prove to me <laughs> that you can walk a straight line and say the alphabet backwards and I'll give you your keys back. <laughs> well, you have to test them. And make sure they're okay I usually... <laughs> There are other elements that I that I do in a sound bath where there's usually tea. It's another way to get back into your mm-hmm. body. It's um, easy to, to create for people. Have tea afterwards. Get in your body. There's always time for discussions. Come talk to me about your experience because I want you to leave feeling good about it. Mm-hmm. Um, even if you had this like this off, you're just so off put. Let's talk about it. Well, what if our Lumineers are listening to this and then they have an experience? Can they contact you? Oh, yeah. So definitely. they can go to your website? Send sound, me, yeah, send me a message to the website. Contact you through the website mm-hmm. and chat about it. Lumineers. Yeah. yeah. You now know that you can do that. <laughs> do and you, same thing for the, the, the Wednesday free live sound bath on Facebook. It's a five minute sound bath. And same thing. It's like, let's have a discussion about it. It can be private. It can be on the feed. Um, and yeah, let's we really appreciate feel good about the that. experience. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And grounding is really, really important after I, for time's sake, I was taking you through a very br- abbreviated version of it. But um, I usually <laughs> go through the different senses so that it is bringing you back into your body fully. So first is really noticing what is going on in your body, the sensations, noticing your back to the floor, what that sensation is like, bringing you through um, what is going on with your thoughts, what is Mm -hmm. popping up for you, the smells within the room, the -hmm. sounds within the room versus outside of the room. And I have you move in different ways to, to get out of it as well. And then we would all come up to a seated position with left hand on your stomach, your right hand on your chest, and we would own three times because then you feel that vibration mm-hmm. in your body again. Um, just another added thing. And then I have everybody stand up <laughs> and feel <laughs> the weight in your legs, but, um, which we didn't do. We didn't do. So we get to stay <laughs> forking gong high. <laughs> and blissed out. <laughs> blissed out just for a little bit longer. Um, I want to encourage you, Lumineers, if you're on your spiritual path, trying to find your intuitive vein, raising your awareness, looking for complementary or alternative therapies, please check out Danielle Hall's website at soundembrace.com. This is part of it. She has lived and walked that journey. She's open, honest, reliable, which I'm so grateful that you're here doing this work. I just got choked up. (laughs) That's how grateful I am. We need more real people like this who are... Honestly, taking the woo-woo out of it, showing the true true. Thank you, sound bath healing. <laughs> <laughs> woo! So rude, uh, that was releasing. <laughs> Let's have some fun. We're gonna go hug this out, Lumineers. <laughs> so we're gonna sign off. Remember, it's not woo-woo. It's, it's true true. true. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna hug it out now. <laughs>